Hillary Clinton's emails are back in the news again, facing a possible indictment during an election year for the future Democratic presidential nominee. Obviously, this is huge news, and in this video, we're going to break down all the latest news in this case and everything that has transpired from the very beginning to give you a full picture of this entire scandal from beginning to its possible end. Well, news just broke that one of Hillary Clinton's aides at the State Department, Brian Pelagonia, who set up Hillary Clinton's private email server in her home in New York, was just granted immunity to speak freely with the FBI, not facing any criminal indictments if he is able to rat out Hillary Clinton. This is huge breaking news that just developed over a day ago. And of course, as we know, this whole scandal started from the very beginning that Hillary Clinton, when she was tenured as head of the State Department, did not use government servers under the Federal Records Act, violating that act, setting up her own private servers, her own private email service, in order to get rid of transparency, in order to do what she wanted to without any oversight when she was working for the U.S. government as Secretary of State. She set up this private server inside of her house, and now there is a large investigation by the FBI, and the, and the investigation pretty much hinders, did Hillary Rodham Clinton send classified information on a private server that put secrets at risk? This is the main central focus point of this FBI investigation that is currently happening right now. Of course, Hillary Clinton and her team are saying no. There was no classified information given on this server. I did not send any classified information. No one knows any classified information on my private server. Well, according to the Washington Post analysis of the emails that were already released, they are saying that there was over 104 emails that the government says are classified that Hillary Clinton actually used and released on her private email server. Even Judicial Watch, after reviewing some of the emails that have been released to give some transparency of what she did even says that yes she used classified information on a non-governmental email account which is a violation of the law and put national secrets at risk this all came about because of the house select committee on benghazi which uncovered the very fact of this personal email use of this violation of the law but now the fbi has taken upon itself to investigate hillary clinton and they are currently investigating it hillary clinton said to the national media she will of course cooperate she will of course be honest and transparent and work with the FBI, but not many people know this, Hillary Clinton actually wiped her email server clean and refused to turn it over. And then the FBI had to forcefully take the server back over and forensically get back emails. Hillary Clinton was actually reading a book, according to the new emails that have been released, on how to delete emails. She was reading up how to cover up her tracks, how to get rid of any transparency, how to get rid of any responsibility that she was doing when she was doing the bidding of the United States government. Now, of course, the FBI is investigating this, but ultimately the decision to indict Hillary Rodham Clinton is on Attorney General Loretta Lynch, which is an Obama political appointee. She has the final say to investigate and to prosecute Hillary Clinton and to indict her under a grand jury. The FBI in this situation could only recommend criminal charges be filed, but ultimately it's up to Loretta Lynch, who even publicly says, well, I'm not really interested in, in persecuting Hillary Clinton, of course, because they're a part of the same team. And Obama does not want to see his Democratic Party fall. And Obama even publicly said he's not interested in having Hillary Clinton prosecuted in any way, shape or form. Now, when will this come to a crescendo moment? Well, according to The New York Times, the FBI investigation could be over in May. And in May, possibly the FBI could recommend for criminal charges to be filed, but then it is still up to Loretta Lynch, an Obama appointee. Now, with the emails that have been coming out to show transparency by the State Department, to show transparency by Hillary Rodham Clinton, already 2,000 emails have been classified as confidential. 22 emails were withheld from the entire publication saying that they were too top secret 
from the general public to know what our government is doing behind closed doors. So the, the it's clear. It is clear. Hillary Clinton violated the law and on top of that put national security at risk by using a private email server that could have been easily hacked. There have been emails that have been coming out to show this transparency and they have come out and already shown a full huge insane picture of the workings of the US State Department when Hillary Clinton was in charge of it. It shows already how Hillary Clinton worked with Google to censor a YouTube video. It shows how Hillary Clinton was closely connected to war criminal Henry Kissinger and how their cozy relationship fostered more war hawkish decisions like new emails that show that the true motivation between the Libya intervention was because of Gaddafi building a gold dinar system that threatened the petrodollar and oil production within Africa. It shows how Hillary Clinton aides were celebrating the sales of F-15s to Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, the financer of Islamic terrorism all around the Middle East, giving those weapons to celebrating military industrial complex successes through the State Department. Judge Andrew Napolitano even says that with this unsecured email, Hillary Clinton revealed the location of Ambassador Chris Stevens that was killed in Benghazi and NATO fighter jets. And of course, some people are saying that this led to the ultimate killing of them. That is a little bit of a stretch, but she did send out information revealing the information to Ambassador Chris Stevens, which was killed in Benghazi and NATO fighter jets through her private email server that could have been attacked. Obviously, there has been known phishing attacks by the Russians who tried to infiltrate this server and the fact of her server being compromised by a foreign government or another agent of a different state is still under review. Also, new emails show her support of an overthrow of the government in Honduras. And of course, this is just what has been publicly made to the general public by the government. Huge bombshell revelations about how Hillary Clinton and the State Department really worked with more information being withheld this is just information that has been public. You could only imagine. You could only just imagine what this criminal politician has been up to that has been deemed top secret. And this is just over an email. You could only imagine what she does in person. But many people are saying there's a lot of powerful Democratic women, including Loretta Lynch, who stand in the way of her prosecution and that her prosecution does not look likely in any way, shape, or form because of these loyal Democrats, because of the fellow inspector general for the State Department. He even is saying that there is no way she will be indicted for her clear violations, for her clear just outlawish behavior when she was working for the people of this country. We have General David Petraeus who shared private information with his secret lover. He was fined $100,000. He was put on two years probation. He was overthrown for being director of the CIA because of sharing classified information. And this criminal, it looks like she will get away with violating the law once again. And that's why a lot of independent, a lot of people in the media are calling for an independent counsel for this investigation because there is no way, according to many experts, that there will be an official indictment on Hillary Rodham Clinton for her email scandal. I hope we gave you a full picture here because you're not hearing this information on the mainstream media. You have to share this video with your friends. We wanted to give you a comprehensive look at the start, beginning, the current situation, and where it's going to go with the Hillary Clinton email scandal. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that subscribe button. We're going to have a lot more information coming here your way on truly free and independent news supported and funded for you and by you. Subscribe. Thank you again so much for watching.